Apostle Paul said, Mark Alexander, the copper smith, he made things so difficult for me. He made ministry so hard for me. He went ahead of me always to cause more harm than good against my destiny. Paul said, for he has done me so much evil. Says God shall reward him according to his evil works. Now Paul didn't pray that God should forgive him. Don't think that because a man of God is anointed as powerful as Paul that his work cannot be stopped. Somebody stood against his words greatly, meaning that he, the, 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 the maximum anticipated influence that his preaching could have made in the lives of people, this guy stopped it. I don't think you are more anointed than Paul. Paul was anointed. Paul was truly caught by God, but he faced hindrances. He faced oppositions. Because sometimes we think that God has left a man when things aren't going well anymore. At my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be led to their charge. Now Paul is not praying for those who forsook him by the influence of that evil man called Alexander the coppersmith. Already he says God will reward him according to his works. But for those who yielded under his influence, Paul began to intercede. And said, Father, I pray that the judgment meant for them to not materialize. Because if you're here, you know what this ministry has done and what has, it has done in your life and what it's still doing in the lives of people. And you listen to what others say and turn your back on the man that stood with you because of the wicked influence of sorcerers like Alexander the Copper Smith. Judgment will still come upon you. Because you closed the door that would have helped more people that are attached to you. We curse the ministry of Alexander the coppersmith in our generations right now. Anybody at your workplace, in your community, wherever they are, that has positioned himself as Alexander the coppersmith to cause people to turn their back on you, to cause your destiny helpers to turn against you, such a person would die. When men come against you ignorantly, pray for God to have mercy on them. But when men premeditated their actions to the point of consulting a sorcerer to afflict you, this now is seen unto death. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Somebody can come against you. Somebody can hate you and wish you evil or whatever way. But when somebody goes to the extent of consulting a sorcerer, unleashing a demon from the pit of hell, hacking into your stars, ensuring that you don't go further with your life, wanting to frustrate your future, frustrate your children, children, that one is a devil incarnate stand to your feet that such an enemy in your life dies. if you don't like this prayer right now log off check me out again in my services you will enjoy it but this one I came to kill Anybody that Satan has strategically positioned to monitor your future, to monitor your life, to monitor your next move, wherever he or she is, giving information to your enemies, giving your information to those that hate you, to cause difficulties, to make things too hard for you, we cost them and their generations.
every difficulty that you have ever gone through because of what somebody had done through a monitoring spirit we increase it we double it come on we we, we hundred fold it and send it back to that human agent whatsoever anyone has done to you and you have suffered so much and they think that they can go free is a lie scriptures the bible says whatsoever a man sow it that he shall also reap that person that have sown that seed of wickedness through monitoring spirits taking your information to people that hate you making life so difficult for you i don't know who you are tonight we bring judgment against them they will suffer what you have suffered they will go through what they have caused you to go through they will never go free let me tell you something the reason why witchcraft have survived and succeeded is because the saints of God have refused to release judgment hear me out a time has come that God says release judgment period the Bible says any mouth that shall rise up against you in judgment thou shalt condemn a time comes we pray good for our enemies but a time comes when God says enough is enough Shahila let the fire of God locate every point of satanic attack every point of satanic affliction in the name of Jesus the Christ we release seven fire two three four five six and seven oh let the angels of war be released tonight against every monetary spirit wherever they are whomsoever they have jumped into to afflict our destinies holy god fire 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 now for those of you who are new in our church listen carefully when we say fire we are simply dispatching 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 delegating releasing angels the bible says god makes his angels flames of fire so the easiest way to release angels is to say angels are our ministering spirits they are the war angels of god they are our servants so when we say fire we release angelic intervention angelic deliverance angelic help lift your hands up wherever your monitoring spirits have camped holy god fire 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 We bring the government of satanic monitoring spirits right now under the fire of God and we bring them to naught 
We paralyze the assignment. You know, hear me now. We paralyze the assignment. 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 Every monitoring spirit searching things out, searching deeply into your life, looking for something to use to bring you down. I command to die for your sake. To fall 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 for your sake. Anyone that has created animals, lions, to destroy your life, snakes to bite you, to bite you, to curse you, I stand in the name of Jesus the Christ uh, to bring down the blood, the plans, the schemes uh, of your enemies to not in the name of Jesus the Christ. Uh, the frustrations of the enemies will not go unrewarded. You are blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed when going out. Now go war against every monitoring spirit. You are victorious. You are victorious. You are victorious. You are victorious. Are victorious. Anywhere they are monitoring, fire. Anywhere they have done their evil work to trap your stars, to trap your next success, to withhold your next fortune. Fire! Fire! Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus the Christ. And everybody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. The Holy Ghost says, I should tell you that the kind of injury, the kind of war, the kind of bruises, the kind of uh, 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 pain that you have released in the camp of your monitoring spirit is uncountable. They can't look upon you again for the next 10 years. Special announcement from the office of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Please beware of fake accounts on social media, be it Facebook, YouTube, and all others impersonating the man of God, asking for funds from people. Please note, Pastor John does not have any orphanage in Nigeria or in any country, nor does he ask anyone to donate to any orphanage. Also note that the only official page of the man of God Pastor John Anosike is the one with over 451,000 followers. Our YouTube channel also has over 155,000 subscribers. Note that the man of God does not chat, send friend requests, nor inbox people on social media, be it Messenger or WhatsApp. Therefore, anyone doing such is false and should be treated as such. This is a notice that you are informed and sensitized to be alert and vigilant. Stay connected and keep subscribing to the team teachings of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Due to malicious and fraudulent activities, please note that these are the only official two accounts of the ministry. For EFT or bank transfer, bank, First National Bank, FNB, account name, New World Faith Ministries, account number, 622-67035048, branch, Woodstock. Branch code 250655. Swift code FIRNZAJJ. Building Project Banking Details. City of Sons. Bank. First National Bank. FNB. Account name New World Faith Ministries. Account number 623 569 03578. Branch code 250655. Branch Woodstock. Swift code F I R N Z A J J. To give online, kindly visit our website and use the following link 
www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give here you can give via payfast for those that are in southern africa in paypal for international donations good news for all those living in west africa for your giving and donations here are the only official and approved banking details name ikechuku john anosike account number one one seven zero zero two zero seven five three bank Zenith Bank. Please note that the following is our official and only PayPal email for the ministry. Donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org Kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line. Plus 27634235895 Or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org